Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. You got to realize and understand your breakthrough is on the way. You might be breaking through right now. And the hardest part, the hardest part is to know when it's coming. But what you have to realize is it's always here. It's always here. And it's always coming. You have to remember that a thousand years is like one day to the Lord. A thousand years is like one day to the Lord. And so that's what we fail to realize. Who do you know who has lived a thousand years? Nobody. You might be fortunate to know somebody who lived a hundred years or even 90 years. So when you think about it, you could be breaking through for five years, 10 years, and that's just a second to your creator. And a lot of times we get weary because we say, well, when am I going to know? When am I going to be in an overflow of abundance, of money, of blessings, of opportunity, of friends, of love, or whatever it is you praying for your breakthrough in. But what you got to realize is everything is working together. Everything comes together and you'll be tested and breaking down and failing the test and prolonging the breakthrough. Because one thing that God won't allow is when he sends a blessing, he won't allow it to break you. So a lot of times the breakthrough comes after the breaking, meaning you have gotten past the test that you would have failed. And you could be in the midst of failing a test, but learning the lesson for the one that's coming the next day. And as you are getting that lesson and now you taking the next test, the next thing you realize Voila, it's unfolding. It's happening for you. It's coming together. But see, here's the thing what you got to realize now. This ain't on man time. See, man may think that your breakthrough is this thing over here that might look good, that might be a blessing. But see, what God got for you is bigger. See, what God got for you Man, they gonna man gonna be able to guess and say, well, oh, well, I guess I could see that happening. Well, I guess I could see that, but they're gonna be like, well, I ain't see it happening that big. Well, I ain't see it happening that soon. Well, I didn't see it happening in that way. Well, I didn't know if it would ever really happen because it didn't happen at this time or it didn't happen at that time. See, that's what we fail to remember is that his ways are not our ways. His ways higher than our ways. His thoughts higher than our thoughts. So a lot of times we be thinking and processing and we trying to understand. We trying to mm, when it's going to happen. When it's going to happen. Listen, you don't know. You don't know because the way that God moves is not going to be the way that man moves. And that's what you got to realize and understand. And that's what we fail to remember is that it's not going to look like you saw it. It ain't going to look exactly that way. And it, see, here's the thing too. It come when you least expect it. See, a lot of times you're not expecting it and you start to backpedal. You start to backslide because You've waited and you've waited and you've waited and you're like, well, I don't think it's coming. So why am I working for it? Why am I working hard? Why am I sacrificing? And you start to backpedaling and it's right there. It's right there. And then you'll shift back into a gear and you'll get back on track and then boom. It happened, you like, whoa, whoa, I ain't know it's about to happen right now. Now, hold on now, I thought I was about to have to get back on and, and ride for a few years. 
on doing the right thing. Listen, that's not always how it works, and you got to understand that. You got to understand that you got to be ready for it. You got to be ready for it, and you got to know in and out of season, in and out of season, it can happen at any moment. In and out of season, you got to be preparing. You got to be preparing. You got to be ready. You got to be humble for the opportunity now. You got to be humble for the opportunity. And you got to understand that the opportunity might not look just like you envision. Might not look just like it. But you got to be mindful. You got to be patient. You got to be obedient. And you got to be humble. And if you could do those things, and you just take your time, you do those things. You don't rush it. Don't force it. Don't try to push nothing. All you do is you stay consistent. You stay consistent being and doing who you need to be and doing what you need to do and just watch how it all plays out. And see, the thing is, sometimes people going to sleep on you. Sometimes people going to sleep on you. I got a quote that went viral a long time ago, and, and it had been people that said stuff like it. And I put it on a quote card, and it said, me. Say, Lord, they sleeping on me. And then it said, the Lord, I know, but I've already set the alarm clock. And I posted that. And I, when I really knew it was virus, P. Diddy's son posted it. And I think P. Diddy posted it too. I said, well, darn, y'all done post my thing. My name ain't nowhere in there. But that's what I was talking about because, see, the thing about it is, is see, the way God works, he don't work on your time. He don't work on my time. He don't work on our time. He sees and knows what we don't see and know. So you'll look like you done fell off. You'll look like you done fell backwards. You'll look like you done reached your peak. You'll look like you doing all that you're going to be doing. And out of nowhere, when nobody know it, when nobody expect it, when they don't see it coming, voila, the Lord will drop something on you. And it'll move mountains. And people will be looking and be wondering like, whoa, where in the world that come from? How in the world that happened now? I ain't see that happening. What in the world going on? Listen, see, if it ain't a little mind boggling, if it ain't a little surprising, if it ain't a little... Out the blue, if it ain't something peculiar about it, it ain't God. Because the way God move, God going to confound the wise. It, it ain't going to be all the time so simplistic and easy to understand. God going to confound the wise. And you got to realize that. So listen, what lesson are you supposed to be getting right now? What lesson you supposed to be getting, but you might be missing? What lesson are you supposed to be getting, but you might be missing? What sin you wallowing in and prolong, delaying your blessing? What place you operating from that might be delaying your blessing? Listen, where you backtracking and not being obedient because you was obedient for a season and what you thought was going to happen didn't happen. So now you said, Lord, I'm going to do it my way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You better catch yourself. And you better get back on track. You better be consistent. And you better stay the course. You better stay the course. Don't get weary. Don't get weary. Don't get weak and well doing. Don't stop being obedient because you can manipulate the hands of God. Don't stop being obedient because you come in. God knew you were trying to manipulate him. That's why ain't nothing move. But when your heart get pure, when your heart get righteous, when you get right, when you stop playing games and you start doing it from the right place, then that's when something could happen. And guess what? It might not happen right then. It might happen a year from then. When, when you relinquish and you let go and you say, well, I, I'm no longer worried about it no more. I'm just living this because this is how I'm supposed to live. That's when it could happen, really. That's when it could happen when you stop trying to treat God like a genie in the bottle, like an ATM machine, and you start being authentic. Listen, you can't you can't fool God with that fake righteousness. You can't fool God. You can't play God with the fake righteousness, with the fake holy, with with the kissing up, with the 
sucking up with the, all that. You can't fool God. It got to be you. And it got to be authentic. And it got to be consistent. You got to be good ground. You got to be in the right place. Emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. To be able to receive what he got for you. And listen to me. You got to get the people around you. In the right mindset. You can't change them. But you got to let them know. Listen. God trying to do something. He about to do something. Something about to happen. Something about to shake. Something about to move. Get your life together. Get your life together. Because I can't afford for you to mess up what God trying to do over here. So you better, you better get right or you finna get left. Play with it. Listen to him. You got to let him know now. Listen to him. You got to let him know. Hey, my dog going crazy. So my wife must be home. Oh, she had to use the bathroom real quick. Hey, God bless y'all. And we'll talk soon. Why is that? She had to run in here. She run on the road driving. Hey, God bless you. We'll talk soon. The queen home. I got to go.